So hey, ta- hey, YouTube friends and family. So tonight it's just a random story time, like literally random. Um, I was thinking about my childhood. So when I was younger, you know, my grandmother, my mother died when I was eight days old. My grandmother ended up going to college when I was like four or five years old. Um, so then, you know, it left for me and my two older sisters. But one sister went her way and the other sister, she stayed. You know, and that's the oldest one. She have tried her best. She have tried, when I say her her best, she, she tried her best. And I love her dearly for never giving up and, you know, trying to stay strong. Because at the end of the day, she was young herself when my grandmother ended up going to college. But I would never forget. Um, I think I had to be, like, around 8 or 9 at the time. And I had these white friends that stayed next door from me um it was two sisters maria and emma that i used to go and play with when i say play with we used to play all day like literally all day it used to be so bad like sometimes we used to, i used to spend the night over there at their house but one particular day you know sometimes i and also sometimes you get up and go to breakfast at their house so one morning i woke up um at my house um, the big yellow house that my grandmother had before it was taken away. And my sister had bought some KFC. I think we ate on that KFC like for two nights. But then one morning I woke up and the KFC box was like literally, excuse me y'all, was like literally full of maggots. Um, so then I got up and I, so then I took, got up and I, you know, just went next door to Emma Maria house because, you know, we're friends and sometimes we eat breakfast over there. So, their mom used to, you know, give me food or whatever. One day, Marie was like, oh, you can't eat at our house because you're dirty. I was like, what? Like, are you serious? Like, you supposed to be my friend. So, she was like, oh, no, you can't eat at our house because you're dirty. Your feet dirty. Look at you. Like, she just was on one like that morning. Like... That little girl was just on one that mo- that that girl was just on one that morning. Now, mind you, we all kids, and I used to, like I said once again, I used to eat at their house almost every morning. So any before going to school, so any because because I'm not gonna lie, at the time we was very poor. My grandma ended up going to college. My sister, I think she had to be like seventeen, and she was the, and she was trying to defend for me and me and her. And then she ended up getting pregnant with my niece, my eldest niece, Kalia. That's my girl. Um, But she ended up getting pregnant with my eldest niece. So, of course, me and my niece, we grew up kind of like sisters. Um, And it was just like really, 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 really hard. But she tried. So ever since um, Maria said what she said, I just never been back over there. We stopped being friends. And you know, at the end of the day, when people, as a child, you have to watch what you say to children. Even if you're a child, you should still watch what you say to other people because people have feelings. Words does stick. And up to my ch- up to my adult life, like literally, I've just like I say, like last year, sometime, like in two thousand and. 20 the ending part i started to get over a lot of childhood things now mind you my childhood have been horrible was horrible and i refuse for my kids to have a childhood like that the childhood i had so i don't know i just felt like a little quick story time but i always remember what what don't kill you makes you stronger like literally good night